Hey everyone, it's me Dennis. Um, I'm finally recording a collection tour video. I have not recorded one ever since 2021. I have never had this many horses and I am so happy with my collection right now. And here we have my Altonite Conga. We have Uffington, which I got a Briarfest for such a steal. He was only 80, I think. Yeah, 80. And then I have Altonite, the Premier Club one. One of my favorite horses from my collection as of right now. The masking is absolutely insane, you guys. Then we have Adamic, which I saw at Briarfest in person, the real horse. And the fact that it's a regular one, but it has masking just like Altonite, but Altonite is a Premier Club horse, that's insane. Um, I definitely recommend getting Altonite. I mean, Adamic if you don't have it. Then there's American Pharaoh, uh, Wings, which I thought looked like a cricket for the longest time, and I still feel like Wings looks like a cricket. Like, you cannot tell me I'm wrong. It has the face of an actual cricket. Um, anyway, it's it's a cool horse. It's a really cool horse. And the sculpture is very realistic. Looks very much like a real-life thoroughbred. Then we have Chablis, which I really love. I wish I got two at Briarfest. I wish I got a dark variation like this one. And I wish I got a lighter variation just because the lighter variations came with amazing babbling. Mine, because it's a darker variation, has barely any. Then we have Brunello, which I really like. I had to buy back because I sold it. It was my third Briar horse ever. Then we have Nicholas, the celebration horse of Briarfest 2022. And Shantae, which I thought mine came yellowed, but all the Enchantees apparently have yellow legs. Totalus, which I got for $10. Ten dollars and swap meat just because they didn't have a stand. Then my landlord, which is one of my favorite horses from my collection, and Rialto too, which I fixed after so many attempts of fixing the leg because it was so warped and it was a really traumatizing experience to try and put my horse's leg in a in boiling water because it's glossy, but it didn't it didn't ruin the gloss or anything, which is really relieving. Then I have Vermeer, which looks very strange. I have to say that this horse is very strange. Then I have Bondi, which I really love, one of my holy grails, one of my biggest prides and joys for my collection. And then I have Allegro, Acadia, again, one of my favorite horses from my collection. I love him so much. Look at the eyes, guys. I don't know how many of you guys have seen this horse up close, but it's got one brown eye and one blue eye. And it looks like a whole completely different horse from this angle than it does from this angle. Anyway, then I have Stein. I had two Steins. I traded one for my Altenai, which I thought was an amazing deal. I kept the darker variation. Um, however, this one has this weird marking, which is fine. I don't mind. Then I have my Lonesome Glory Conga, which used to be so much bigger. I really love this mold. My favorite mold is the Allegro mold. And the second one, second favorite mold is the Lonesome Glory. So I have Tinsel Town, Pinto Chestnut Qual Surprise, Buxton Qual Surprise. Acoltech, Going for Gold, um, CC Appreciation, Glossy, Tizzla, Tizzla, which I ruined for a TikTok. Look at that, look at that eye, look at that. I ruined it, and for what? Then I have the matte Qual Surprise, which I really like. I'm looking for the glossy ones, all the Qual Surprises in gloss. Oh, they're so expensive. And then I have two Zenyatas, and the story behind these is pretty entertaining for you guys, pretty sad for me. So I bought these horses full price. The sellers did not tell me they were both body condition. I paid freaking $80 for this one, or 90 I guess, like full price, and it is looking really rough. And the second one, I got for like 40 bucks, still a lot of money for a body, but anyway. Then I have Queen of Hearts, Josie, special run of Briarfest 2021. All right, that was shelf number one. Moving on to shelf number two. First one on the shelf is Marcus, and then I have Foal in matte, I have the Holiday, Ethereal Water, which is my favorite. Ethereal Gorilla Pinto Earth with a pinking variation. I didn't know they come in variations, but I had two Earths, and one of them had white markings here on the muzzle and on the belly, too. And I was like, bro, the one with white markings is so much more boring. Then I have Wilder, the Tractor Store Supply Special Limited Edition from 2021, I believe. Fire, which man, this horse is beautiful, but in person, it's so much more underwhelming than it is on video and in pictures. And I don't know why, at least that's how I feel about it. Then I have wind. I'm really looking for a wind with the snip. There is some with um, pinking under snip, like a variation or something. Then I have anthem, which I got from the US as a souvenir for myself because it's got the American flag. Then Brahms, which dude, I thought I would hate this mold, but it is stunning. 
at least the coat is. And the mold is not that ugly. I'm actually kind of liking it. Maybe this side not the best, but from this side, it's got a pretty good face. And then I have Party Girl here, which I'm not a huge fan of this mold, but they come in such nice colors that you just have to have them. And the dappling and the shading on this one, just insane, dude. And then I have Valvella, if you guys know me, you know how much I absolutely love dapple grays. And this one, dude, something else. Look at all these apples. Just stunning. And then I have the gray CC Shuffle Foxy. Um, I'm not gonna take all of them out. What am I doing? Again, in my opinion, this horse is way better in pictures and videos than in real life. And then I have CC. What? <laughs> I wish. Then I have Chocolatey, which for a regular run, it's amazing. Look at those details on the eyes. Just beautiful. Then I have. Cody, which is actually for sale. If you're interested, hit me up on Instagram. Then I have the Secessionally Fire 2008 Color Crazy Marin Fold set. It's also the variation. Then I have the Full Conga out there right now. Actually, no, there's a raffle. There was a raffle. I mean, live action piece at Briarfest of these guys on this mold, so I don't have a Full Conga, but the obtainable Conga. I have the LB and Spree Marin Fold set from Briarfest 2022. I initially didn't want to get them, but when I saw them in person, I was like, dude, these horses are beautiful. The dark shading is just insane. And um, then I have Firefly and Hawkeye, which again, this sculpture is kind of funky. Like if you look at it from this angle, like what is that face? What is that? But um, they're pretty cool. And I didn't notice something with my little guy here. Look at that. He's lacking masking there, which I didn't notice when I first got, but that's fine. Still loving it. Then I have Rapunzel, which I'm also selling. I have the classic Black Forest Dewey from Briarfest 2021, the store special, I mean 2022. And then I have the Mamacita and Shiko. I don't know what the name of the fall is. Then I have the Slime Surprise Matt Appaloosa Horse Lionheart, which is really starting to grow on me. I used to really love this mold when I first got into collecting and then I was like, something weird about it. And yeah, the mane is kind of weird, but this one horse in particular, just beautiful, look at that. Um, look at the mane. It's kind of weird. Then I have Danny, the celebration horse of 2021. So these are my horses on this shelf, right? On these two shelves right here. Then I have some horses here, which are... This is a really cool one. I got this from a fan at Briarfest. I kid you not, this is the best thing ever. Then I have Bridie. We will ignore my rat face right there. Then I got Bridie for only $60 at Briarfest, which I really like. And then I have my social media meet and greet signed model horse. This horse has a very special place in my heart, you guys. I'm never in my entire life getting rid of this horse, never. And then I have this one, Franco, which is my first Briar horse. So if you can't really tell, this shelf is kind of like my special shelf. So it's right under my, my desk. So I have Frankel, my first Briar Horse, and I have this one that means a lot to me. And then I have that one, the mascot of my channel with the rat. And then, you know, Bridie, whatever. I didn't have space for him on the other shelf. And it's also a donkey, it's not a horse. And then I have my little Briar Fest corner here with the Prost, Plush, and a new inbox celebration horse. And then I have my stable mates, which you guys, I do not collect stable mates. I really do not, so. This is actually my first set of Briar Horses, I mean stable mates that I got in 2007 from my aunt. So these two with this one, and you can see the tail is right over there. And then one more horse which I broke. They were all in a set before stable mates. And yeah, these are my first Briars ever. I mean, this one was my first traditional that I got in 2015, but then these ones are really my first Briars from 2007. And then I have this little dude here, which I got, I think, for free from someone. And then I have this horse, which I started customizing, but as you can see, it did not go well. And then I have this one, which I got as a little gift from someone. The last one here, I got from the US, from an antique store, because I actually liked it, even though I don't collect stable mates, it was pretty cool. And then that right there, my friends, is a plush horse that I got from a fan at Briarfest, and I'm not ever getting rid of that. And then there's a painting that I made when I was very, very young, I can't remember. And I find it so funny that I, I made the markings black <laughs> and the horse's forehead markings are always white, but I was, I was really young and I didn't know. That painting right there is very nostalgic to me because I painted it when I was really young, so it reminds me of the fact that I've always loved horses.